hey guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile I get a lot of questions a lot of my premiums like emo please help me check my profile is it good enough I didn't need to change what I need to update am I really optimized and the questions keep on raining on and on so I just thought I know what instead of me answering these questions over and over and over again I might also just do a video and show people different things they can actually check on their profile and even give them a reference point which is actually like my own profile so they can actually see what they should obviously do and if they've not done it they can obviously have a reference point to make corrections to their page and able to beef up the look of their profile on LinkedIn all right guys so obviously I'm not can not tell you everything one-on-one -on -one because you know it's gonna be I think it's better if it's just more visual so I'm gonna hop onto my computer where I'm now going to show you the different areas I should actually consider when you want to optimize your LinkedIn I'm gonna use my own profile as an example and I'll show you different things I did what different methodologies I put into place um, how I was deliberate about stuff on my profile so they can actually be able to compare it to your own profile and if you have if you are shut in if you have some short comments in some areas you can obviously feel free to update yourself and obviously make your profile optimized so that when people come to your page they obviously love your page they love you or they actually like you okay, love is a strong word because they don't know you too much but they actually like you okay they like you they feel comfortable with you they they actually read on your about segments about things you've Done, and they can imagine themselves working with you and they can imagine themselves what it would be like if they were actually you your clients and that's a good place to put your client and that's something you have control over in your about segment but hey let me talk too much guys let's 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 go to the computer okay hey let's go hey don't forget subscribe <laughs> subscribe all right now seriously let's go <laughs> Alright guys, so now this is my own LinkedIn profile. I'm going to be showing the different areas that I put into consideration for me to optimize my LinkedIn profile, okay? Now the first thing I obviously optimized was my my URL, my vanity URL. If Chris, it says here edit public profile, I can edit that and it gives me this, okay? Next thing I obviously edit is now going to be my profile picture. I always told you make sure that your picture background is very simple literally has nothing behind to not to just avoid any distraction okay and then have a nice picture that pops get your makeup done get your hair done have a nice posture take a picture and it's good and number three is your header your header should obviously represent what you are who you are and what you can do note I have my laptop here that means so that most everything I do is on my laptop okay and then I now say attract high-end clients with social selling. That's what you want to focus on. I want to focus on the fact that if you want to attract high-end clients, I'm a go-to girl. Now, number four is now my headline. Um, who I am, who I serve, and the results I gave. Literally, that is what is in my headline. I'm a brand strategist and LinkedIn consultant. I help seasoned experts to brand and position online to attract high-end clients. Now, that's literally my headline. And even with that, I obviously put my contacts. So number five is your contacts. Your contacts is literally um, your email address, your link. It now talks about the website link. This is now a feature and a half. If somebody wants to now sign up and just know more about me or know about you know my new world of knowledge, they can sign up for this free training and they can watch it. Or if they want to book a session with me, they can. So I obviously have the two options here. Now, numbers, number five, is now my about us about us is now me talking about who I am starting from where I'm from hi my name is Imo I am from Nigeria yes the gender of Africa so I'm gonna brag me a bit yeah I like Africa I'm a Nigerian so yeah cool and then I now spoke about my journey my why and that now takes me all to different things I've realized that could help us people to build a successful business online and from there I now moved on to my superpower this is literally very deliberate talking about what I can do like my own gift I actually implement into every skill or every job I do then you now say okay even if you have this skill what's the big deal this is now what I do this is now how to say this is now what answers the question how can you help me more you see I help seasoned professionals to position themselves as the go-to experts so they can land high-end clients 
I do this by building up a clear brand strategy and a marketing funnel on LinkedIn that attracts potential prospects that can be converted to clients. This is now me telling them what I can do for them. It's now that call to say, okay, this is actually what I want to achieve. Let me just call her up. But they're still wondering, but how can you achieve this for me anymore? Then I now go forward. How can I help you? This is like a methodology. Option one, rebrand and position. Option two, LinkedIn marketing. Now, after you're knowing about a bit of my methodology, okay, still in a bit of a doubt, I now send you or post here at least two testimonials one international, one local. So you can see that I've worked with people both in Nigeria and outside the country. Okay, now if not, after all these are like, alrighty more, very good, I want to work with you. I now tell you, okay, you can actually now book a call with me so we can talk further because before I take up any job, I always like to know my clients, know where they are, where they are, understand where they are right now in the business so I can know where we can start our journey from to get them to resolve the need in their business, okay? Even if I already have a clear methodology, I still want to have that, you know, one-on-one -on -one connection with them to just know them in a deeper way before we embark on our journey. Now, number six is now media content, okay? I'm not sure if I missed my numbers, but hey, get a drift. I now have media content, so literally all my YouTube videos, I now put them here. Why build a brand on LinkedIn, how to, how you can build a profitable business brand on LinkedIn. And then I also now have other videos I posted on my website, literally. This is like my introductory videos I put on my website. Um, brand launch and market online. So when you go to my website, I have like a short video there to talk to you about what you are and what you possibly you want. And take you to now two different videos. This is now if you want to market and upscale to attract high consistent clients. This is like a video talking to you briefly about it and telling you what next to do. And then this is now brand or a brand to launch your online business. Now note, I am literally very deliberate about everything I'm putting here, right? And if in all of this you're still wondering if Imo can really do it for you, I then have tutorials. I have tutorials that I've put together that you can actually now watch. 20 minutes, 8 minutes, 10 minutes. How to create graphic designs that speak to a unique audience. How to take attractive pictures of your products with your phone. How to easily sell any product with videos. Guys, what I have just done is I've created media that reinforces the fact that when it comes to branding, I am a go-to person. Okay? That's what I just done. And the same thing does goes with you. When you're obviously having your profile, you need to put as much media as much as possible with the jobs you've done. Okay, so it actually helps reinforce the fact that yes, you are actually someone that people want to work with. And when it comes to experience, wherever I've worked with, notice I've done something, I have put media too. So this is now people's testimonials have actually displayed working with me in Brand Africa and their testimonials. Now, another thing I can do is actually add videos of the past jobs I've done. And now I've actually mentioned that I would actually consider it. I will. And then moving on, we now have a managing director here working in search right company. I did some animation videos there in the company, so these are like some jobs I've done. And even in Divas Defined, that's an NGO I've worked in that I really was close to my heart. And then different videos I've created in it. And in companies I had worked in in the past that I actually got jobs for and different coverages within the media. Then we can see this. Notice that everything I've done, if you've noticed, I'm big on graphics, big on videos, big on presentations. So in any capacity I've worked in the past, I always have visuals to show for it and if you look at every job I have done they obviously have that niche touch to them based on the clients I had so I'm showing you that in every capacity I've worked with I've obviously been good in branding okay that's another thing was now skills when it comes to skill and endorsement ensure you have at least 50 skills listed out and I mean 50 not two not three 50 if you don't have the 50 have 50 and even if you don't have too many people endorsing it yet do not be discouraged, do so because I'm going to show you mine. I have some that are not all endorsed, so this is some and they're just one, 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 one. Guess what? I'm still leaving it and guess what? It's going to keep on increasing. The more people get to see me, get to know me, they can obviously, you know, keep on endorsing me. Now, obviously this is free because I obviously just added this up about two months ago or so. So that explains why it's really scant in those areas. Then, when it comes to recommendations, have at least five people recommend you. Now, this is obviously one recommendation I've done with the clients. Um, this is Benjamin Weber from UK. 
Um, he said, shortly after working with him more on LinkedIn, we had a session that helped me clearly articulate my audience, my offer, and unique methodology. A week after our session together, I was able to clearly state the results I could bring into an organization in my niche market, which landed me a job. Imo is professional, detailed with how she helps you and clearly knows her craft. Okay, so that's like a, an example of a recommendation that is on my page. I have others, I think I have about seven or so, right? And different people that have worked with me, okay? And after this, this is basically where I say you're good to go. Accomplishments now is like your brag bank also. If you have awards, you have publica publications, by all means, put them all here. As you can see, I am a... I'm a content freak. I'm always taking up knowledge every single time. So there's so many courses I paid for a lot. In fact, that's why I'm not even put here. <laughs> now this is not interest. If you actually want to have an idea of what the person has in mind, right? But when it comes to you personally, you only make um, reference to your interest. That is the groups you want to join. That's in coming to relating other people. Yeah. So when you now want to expand your niche like game of people of course you should now join groups where of people group you have to now join groups that your target audience obviously want to be in or are already in so in summary when you want to optimize your profile what areas should you consider i'm going to recap number one your vanity url number two your profile picture number three your banner design number four your headline design number five your contact number six your about segment Number seven, the media in your about segment has to be filled up. Number eight, you obviously have to have your content creation, which is now your posts, your articles, so people can actually know more about what you are doing. Okay, so this is post. I like, I think I've lost count now. Number seven, I think it's number seven. <laughs> okay, different contents you put out, that's number seven. All right, and then number eight, you now have to have your media content for your experience. I'm gonna take you there. Media content for your experience, wherever you work, always have an example of things you've done. People don't do this, so obviously if you do that, it will obviously reinforce the fact that you're a professional. Number eight, notice I did that for everybody I worked for, okay, so do that. Number eight, your skills and endorsements have at least all your 50. Use up every single thing, man your 50 number nine is recommendations have at least five or recommendations on your page and then number 10 you can actually now put things about your accomplishments articles your your words languages different things about you and that obviously with all this done you'd obviously be able to optimize your linkedin profile all right guys i will look forward to getting your feedback but hey let's hop on to the video back and let's talk briefly all right guys hey guys welcome back hope you enjoyed that session while i took you through my profile show the different areas on my profile from my vanity url to my profile picture my header my highlights my about segments even the media content and even the media content in my in my history like more like my um past experience segment my skills my recommendations and even the groups i've been in now there's so many areas i mentioned and even my contents are real out i showed you the different things i had done i showed you the different contents i put out i showed you how deliberate i was about creating media even in my about even in my experience and even in my post why because when somebody wants to know more about me or know if i'm the best fit for them or if they want to be able to work with me and would ask me to from check stuff about them they have enough information to reinforce the fact that when it comes to branding building a business brand online being a successful business online i'm a go-to person and i ensure that i obviously have enough information that obviously reinforces that when it comes to that area there are things i've done and do you know what there's so many things i still have not even mentioned on my profile I just feel like it's gonna to be too much okay but when it comes to you understand these different things 
ensure that you obviously put all these different things into consideration ensure you edit all those different areas be very deliberate make sure your messaging is on point make sure you're always talking about the results make sure your client can actually be able to see themselves working with you and both have an idea of the experience you can get when they work with you when you can actually achieve that with your profile you have a really good profile and then when it comes to even your content the same thing also goes your videos your photographs your edit your graphics everything has to be aligned to get particular feel to your client so guys I hope so far you've been able to know more things understand how you can actually optimize your LinkedIn profile this is actually longer than my normal videos I feel like playing between three to five minutes or if it's really bad six minutes but this is obviously going a bit over it seems like it's entering 20 minutes but hey the good thing is that by the time you're done with this video you'll be able to do the same corrections on your own profile be able to look at the areas that you obviously may have been cut short in and work on then update your profile and be able to be more attractive for to your ideal clients on linkedin so guys until next time do not forget subscribe help me share my video comment because i want to know your feedbacks so i want to learn from this video and give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up and feel free to let your friends who don't know about me yet to know because I'm very sure there are so many people on LinkedIn that obviously need confirmation and you obviously know one to people that would obviously find this value. So feel free, share this video, share the word, spread the love, let everybody be blessed. Okay guys, so until next time, stay blessed, be good and hey, keep on expanding. Take care.